Hi. So we all know the random number generator uh, makeup challenge, and I'm mainly only going to be focusing on eyes with this. Um, I have like how many palettes? Like I'd say over around thirty. <laughs> I have like around 30 palettes, so what I'm going to do is have the number generator select a palette, and then after that, I'll have it select, like, which shades go where. <laughs> so yeah, it'll make more sense as we go along. Um, I'm going to go off camera to do my face makeup first, um, that way we can just dive right into the eyeshadow and you're not having to be stalled for that, so... Keep watching. Hi, so we're back, and I know I look a, a little bit funky right now, but the rest of the makeup's done besides, like, lips. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and dive into eyeshadow. Now, the first color we're going to do is our blendable shade, which is going to be mainly in the crease area, but it's going to be, like, our airbrush shade. So that color is this one. So this is going to be dark. <laughs> All right. The hack is to blend. <laughs> okay, so it's not that bad. Um, a bit patchy, but I mean, we can build it. Uh, I don't want to build it too much, though, because I don't want to make it to where, um, it's too dark. Because <laughs> we don't know what the other colors are yet, so gotta have, like, a happy medium kind of shade. Okay, so, <laughs> middle shade is done. Um, as you can see, it's pretty dark. It actually, in this lighting, is kind of pink. And kind of purple so it has some like rosy undertones so hopefully we get like either some like reds purples pinks hopefully <laughs> well, all right so our lid shade is 19 and it is this red color so we got some reds in here which is great because um we don't need that because of how rosy and dark this shit is so yeah all right we have dipped in and now we are going to apply got all of our fallout Ooh, girl she patchy she patchy but um the colors work which is great this is definitely like makes me think of my early days of trying on makeup and stuff in middle school and um she kind of looks like a hooker. <laughs> uh, we'll get there. <laughs> and you know what? Most makeup looks don't good until the very end anyway when they're completely finished. It's just like drag queens. Like, it's a process. So, we'll see what happens. I mean, the shades do complement each other. I will say that. kind of gives me, like, red goth kind of vibes. But, you know, not super dark. At least not yet. We'll see what happens, I guess. <laughs> But, like, you know, hopefully, I don't expect this channel to do very well. Um, because quality is not something we can afford at the moment. Your sis is broke. Um, but we will get there. Hopefully. Um, because so far, I pretty much enjoy doing this, and this is only, you know, second video. We're, we're a baby channel. We're, we're getting there. Um, but hopefully, maybe we'll get somewhere with this. If not, no hard feelings. This is not like a full-on career, unless it turns into one. I um, mean, it's definitely not, you know, the end of the world if it doesn't work out. So yeah. Sorry if I keep looking like this way. Um, trying to look at myself in the camera and also like this way and every time I look at myself I'm like, hmm, 
she looks like a meth head. <laughs> but we'll get there. Okay, so 11 is this purple shade. So yeah, that's gonna be for our crease. Um, I don't think it's gonna work well as a crease shade because that's what we're gonna put that shade in the crease help give definition to the eye um, usually whenever you want more of a definition it kind of has to be like a shadow effect so whatever your blendable shade is right here like my first shade was that one definitely needs to be a tad or a bit lighter than your crease shade but maybe because these are two different colors maybe this purple will make it deepen darken we'll see <laughs> like I said like work in progress okay we're either gonna really see this or not see it at all so huh it's definitely lighter um it's definitely hard to see on camera but i don't know if you can notice a slight difference in pigment shades i know my lighting isn't the best but you see like that line right there and you don't really see that right there so that's where I applied it yeah it's not gonna work but we gotta make it work a challenge is a challenge okay I can definitely see where it gave my eyes more of a pop like it gave my eyes more of a color so honestly it wasn't that bad of an idea I'm gonna go back in with the blending brush that I used for this first shade and kind of just blend it out into blend this third shade into the first shade so it gives it more of a airbrushed look and not so like centered in one spot try and air it out fluff it out we definitely still look a little bit like hex girls from scooby-doo but it's kind of a look, so we're getting there. Um, I will say this too. Some point soon, don't know when, don't know how long it's going to take. It's supposed to be moving. For like, for me, this will be like, the what, like, third, fourth time? Um, moving in with my boyfriend. I'm not going to go too far into that, because, um... You know, privacy and the internet and whatnot. But I will say this. Um, your girl has moved around a lot. And I do mean a lot. Uh, I've been kicked out. I have been kicked out a second time. Both were family members. First one was my mom. Second time was my great aunt. Um... And then I had to move back in with my mom, but it was only for a month because I shipped off. That After that month, I shipped off to the Navy, and that did not go too well. Fucked up my leg, um, and yes, I still cuss like a sailor, even though I didn't really get to become one. <laughs> but, I, yeah, I fucked up my femur bone, my left femur bone. Running and everything else, and me being as short as I am, I'm like 5'1", maybe 5'2". Um, the issue with that is, you know, you're doing a lot of exercising within a short time span. So it can be a little difficult for some people. Um, they like to say, oh, if you get injured, that means that you weren't preparing yourself beforehand. Bitch, that is a lie. Your body isn't necessarily meant to adjust within that short of a time span. So it's it's a lot at once. It's a lot on your body. Your body's trying to develop certain parts of your body can't keep up. So almost broke my femur bone. But I fucked it up enough that I had to get medically separated after sitting there for... I sat in the healing unit for three months only got through like a month into training. I was only supposed to be there for two months to graduate 
ended up being there for a full four months. Was not fun. Um, but it could have been worse. And, I mean, I'm glad I'm out of it. But yeah, got done with that. And then after that, it was fucking back home. And I've been staying with my mom since I got back. But I did move in with a friend. And then I moved out and moved back over here. Because my mom wasn't charging me a rent. So I was like... <laughs> And, um, ready to start the next phase of my life. So, we'll see how everything goes. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Let's get into the next shade. Alright, so, this definitely took a, um, Hex Girls turn. <laughs> so, the next shade I want to do is for my lower lash line. So, like, right under here. Um, the issue with that is, um... Guess what color we have? Green. So yeah, this is definitely a this is definitely a mystery. <laughs> so this is also shimmery, so I don't know how this is gonna do. Because normally when you do shimmers, you wouldn't do shimmers on your lower lash line unless it was like right here in the inner corner. Um so you wouldn't normally do it right here. Sometimes you can do it up here if you want to give, like, a nice little glitter effect. Or mainly, like, your lid. Like, lid and inner corner is mainly where you want to put, like, your shimmery shades. And even, like, on your brow bone. But, a challenge is a challenge. So, here we go. Bitch. Oh my god <laughs> very hex girls very hex girls okay um so very very hex girls so what i'm gonna do just to incorporate the eye look all together um i'm kind of gonna cheat a little bit hear me out so to pull the eye look all together what i want to do is i want to get a hot pink shade and put it right in my inner corners and blend like that red into the green in a way like that be the shade in between these so yeah i will go do that real quick and i will show it to you um and then right after that mascara eyeliner got it Okay, so that hot pink shade, definitely. Why does it look purple on the camera? My phone is not the best quality. Um, but like I said, we got a budget. But anyway, so you can kind of see where the pink goes into the red and then into the green. I think that was a good decision. So yeah, it's definitely like when they remade Scooby-Doo. They put it on Cartoon Network. And, like, they gave, like, Daphne her little, like, breakup song to Freddy or whatever. It's giving very that. It's giving very neon Halloween-esque. So, we'll go put on mascara and liner, and then I will be right back. Okay, so this is the final product. Very, and I mean very hex girls vibes. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to take some cute pictures and all that, and then I will post them on here, and obviously they'll look better because, uh, this phone quality is not great, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to post a couple of those pictures up, put them up on here, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Bye!